the way the way comebacks always happen. You know, you you have to be better defensively, and you have to stay the course. You know, we have an unselfish group. We have a lot of different guys that can score. You can't panic. You know, in the first half, they made the run. You know, we made a couple of uncharacteristic turnovers. We were trying to be over aggressive. I thought our decision making. You know, the last 11 or 12 minutes was really good. We got better shots. We got to the bonus. We got into the double bonus. That was huge because we were aggressively driving the ball. You know, Freeman, I thought, you know, at the start of the game, he was a eh, step slow, maybe, and then he took the game over. I mean, you know, 17, 14, 4, and 4 is pretty, pretty good line for a young guy. Uh, really proud of him, the way he responded. But a lot of guys, you know, Patrick was, was outstanding, you know, Tony and Peyton. Uh, Josh Dix defensively was, was really good. And uh, just really proud of their ability to stay the core, stay together, stay connected, and keep coming. Uh, no panic. Fran, they couldn't keep Patrick out of the lane in the second half, and it seems like that your offense just kind of opened up from there. Yeah, you know, and, and obviously he's better, we're better when he's attacking like yeah. that. Um, he gives us that other, another scorer, you know, in that position to go with Peyton and Tony. And then obviously we have Ben and, and, uh, and Owen and Josh. I mean, those guys, any one of them is capable of getting 20. And, and you know, obviously three of them did today. So. I'm happy for him, but I'm I'm happy how he was able to help our team win, and so is he. That's all he cares about. And uh, you know, you can tell that he's he's back healthy from from that you know really really bad badly sprained ankle. You stuck with that lineup for the last nine minutes. What did yeah. you like about? Well, you know, and I considered at some point uh, resting. It wasn't like take a guy out. It was okay. Is, is Patrick really tired? Is Tony is, who's really tired? But you know, Ben took a couple timeouts, and then we had our media timeouts. And at the end of those, I'm like, okay, they look they look fine. We have a lineup that's clicking. You know, they went. You know, both teams kind of essentially went small, and so I think that was important that uh, we keep that group together. Fran, at what point did you become aware that Owen had chipped the tooth, and just what are your thoughts on him? You know, dealing with well, that? I knew it happened right away, and, and and he opened up his mouth and. You spit it out and keep playing. That's what you do. And I wasn't surprised that that's what he did. Coach, what was the biggest change in the second half with the defense? What did you see? We started being more aggressive at the point of attack, you know, trapping them a little bit, running around, scrambling a little bit. Uh, in the first half, you know, our ball screen defense was, was not good. Credit them. They were moving the ball. They got great shots. And they made them. I mean, they made eight threes. And Garcia hit one with his toe on the line. Could have been nine. You make, you make nine threes in the first half, you know, it's going to be hard to beat him. Uh, but, you know, obviously in the second half, it's much better. So, was that difference defensively? Did it just come down to effort for you guys? Well, effort, and, you know, we started pressing up on the ball a little bit more on ball screens. How, how have you seen Owen? Because, I mean, he's, he's dealt with some foul trouble. Um, he also, you know, off the court, you know, just things that he's, he's dealt with. How have you seen him just kind of navigate that the last few Well, weeks? I think the impressive thing for him today was he didn't get off to a good start. And, you know, I jumped him a little bit. And I do that because he's that good. He knows that I know he's that good. And I challenged him to be that guy. And he came right back, I'm going to put him right back in, which I did. And you saw what happened after that. So I'm not taking full credit for it. He did it. But he needed to be challenged at that moment. And it's impressive as a young guy that he was able to perform like he did. And that speaks to, I think, how special he is. Fran, I know your business-like approach, one game at a time. But with a win like this, can this be kind of a springboard for you guys in the well, final stretch? I certainly stretch? hope so. Um, you know, I, I think that's a possibility. But I think we can all agree that this league is really unique this year in the sense that pretty much every time two teams take the floor, anybody can win, yeah. uh, probably more so than ever. Certainly in my 14 years, but you guys have been doing it longer. Yeah. I, I, I can't imagine. Yeah. Uh, it seems like every game is coming down to the last minute. And 
So I do think it it changes your confidence level and it changes how you look at each other and it highlights what you need to do to win close games. Because obviously you know, everybody's in a bunch of them. And we're, I mean, we've been in a bunch. And, you know, you got to win some. With the amount of young guys you have on this team, um, and being able to pull out some of these last minute victories. How important is that for them and, and your team's confidence as a whole? And well, it's absolutely critical. I mean, as you know, I mean, if you if you lose them all, that can snowball on you. You know, I mean, if you win them all, then you, know, you start to feel like it's easy. Uh, you have to deal with adversity and you have to deal with guys on the other team making really good plays. You know, like what happened in the Merlin game. Sometimes guys are special. You know, same thing with Baldwin the other night. Made some tough shots. You gotta learn from that. During the uh, timeout, it was announced that your family's foundation is donating over $130,000 to the adolescent and young adult um, cancer program. Just you know, why is that something that you? Well, I'm, I'm really proud of, of Margaret. She she works incredibly hard with a number of different folks to put that event on, but obviously. That's not all she does. She's on the national board for ACS, and she's on the national board for SES CAN. Uh, the local part of it obviously started when Patrick got cancer and Austin Schrader, uh, and we are, we were the second hospital in, in the Midwest to have uh, AYA program and identify that those cancer patients between the ages 13 and 31 were not having the same outcomes as other cancer patients. And we have to figure out why. And we're studying that right here. They needed help and they came to us. And you know, our events have raised well over a million dollars already. And we'll continue to work extremely hard with, as I said before, the help of a lot of different people. And uh, just really proud of Margaret all the people that come to the event, all the people, people who support the event. Coach, Payne kind of talked about just the crowd. When you guys are down, the, the deficit you had, and you guys start to claw your way back, how important is it to have the crowd just start to... It was, it was amazing go? today. You know, because we, you know, truth is, we didn't get much to cheer about for a while. And, and then we did. And, and they really energized the building and energized our guys. You know, and it's very helpful, as we talked about a minute ago, when you, when you stick with a group, for the last 10 minutes, you need that kind of energy. So we're really appreciative. Hey, right. hey, oh. also mentioned the last belief. question. Hey, you also mentioned the belief um, within the team. Where did that come from today? Well, you know, I think we have great leadership, you know, with Patrick, Peyton, and Tony. Uh, they kept talking about that in the huddles. You know, we were positive as a staff. Uh, you know, I think we gave them some things defensively and offensively that we felt would work, and they did. It doesn't really matter what you give them, they have to do it, and they did it. So now they you know, have confidence in themselves. Uh, so uh, just really, really proud of their ability to stay locked in and get the job done. All right, thanks, thanks.